Hey guys, I'm Becky from Bookbite Reviews and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I will be unboxing the February bookish box, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that this is February. For those who do not know, the bookish box is a monthly subscription company that has different tiers. So the highest tier, which is also the one that I am subscribed to, includes a YA book, a bookish t-shirt, and bookish goodies. They also have an adult version. And my favorite thing about this box is that they not only tell you what book is going to be in the box each month ahead of time, but they also have the option to customize your tier. So if you don't like the book that month, you can decide to either skip that month or change your tier to just include the goodies in the t-shirt. Their tiers also allow you to just buy the book, just buy the book and t-shirt. So they have a whole lot of customization, which is why they are my favorite. Now I am not a rep for this company. I'm just a loyal customer. I've been subscribed to them for about two or three years now and give my own hard earned money to them every single month because I love them. I do have a referral link down below. So if you guys are interested, please use it. This is something that they give to all of their customers. And whenever someone uses it, you get, I believe, 10% off your first purchase and I get 5% off my next purchase. So please use my link if you're interested. But now let's get into this box. It is very heavy and it's also not their normal box. Their normal one is white and has like green bookish box prints on it and stuff like that. This is a heavier box, a bigger box, and I'm excited about it. So first we have our spoiler card that I'm going to set aside, but it is the February box. The theme is Murky Waters, which I'm pretty sure is like morally gray characters. So here is your sneak peek into this box. I can already see that there are two books in this box. I'm pretty sure one of them is the February book and the other one is January because we didn't receive January's book. Let's start with the t-shirt. It's what we usually start with anyways. Oh, right, right, right. So I did forget that the t-shirt for February was an official licensed Holly Black item, which is really cool. I really like Holly Black. I don't love uh, what she's doing with her merchandise, but I understand. But, you know, another story for another day. So, the t-shirt. Oh, I like this a lot. So it says, I want to be part of the unfolding of the tale. I like that. I really, really love the lettering that is on this, and I love the colors. This is cool. I feel like my camera is picking this up as, like, navy, but it's actually a black t-shirt almost like a heathered black because it doesn't look like a full black black. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what words I'm trying to say, but it's a black tee with gold and white lettering and I love that a lot. Okay, next. This is an item that I've never, well, I gotten one in a mystery bag from them before, but never in a monthly box. And that is socks. So these are Throne of Glass Bookish Box exclusive socks. They are super duper cool. They have a stag on them and a dagger. Um, I think that that little circle thing is supposed to be the eye of, I can never remember what it's called, um, a dragon. These are cool and they feel really, really thick and good quality. They are, are these called crew socks? Cute. Oh, I love these. I love that they're just like gray and white. I mean, I love socks. It could be any color and I would be great with it. But I do love that they're just like very neutral. Um, they don't say Throne of Glass anywhere on them. So they could just be like fun pattern socks. But I'm definitely going to wear these because I am reading the Throne of Glass books. Where are they? Right, right there. I, I am reading those for the first time. So I will wear these while doing my reads. Next we have something in... Oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so this really cool box, it says on it that it is a candle carousel, which we've gotten one from them before, which was this one we got in the Jennifer Armentrout box for the Brightest Star. I believe it was a one-time box. And I love it. I love it so much. So you put a tea light in it, you light it up, and then it spins. So they did tell us they were going to do another one, but this one fits their monthly size eight ounce candles in it, which is really cool because nobody sends you tea lights. <laughs> okay, so this is inspired by Edgar Allan Poe, which is really, really cool. Let me take it out, put it together, and I will show you. Okay, so 
this is what it looks like. It has these really cool ravens on it. And right here, you would put the candle. When it's lit, the wind and smoke from the candle will make this spin around which is really cool i love that it's gold i'm a big fan of gold and yeah it's it's really cool next we do have a candle all right so we have a lou inspired candle which i'm pretty sure it is lou from serpent and dove and the artwork is super super pretty i love that a lot it says that the scent is blood orange and cinnamon chai which if it's what i'm smelling from out of this box it smells amazing Mmm, it is. This smells so, so good. All right, so I'm going to light this, and in the background, hopefully you'll see the carousel going at some point. Guys, <laughs> this totally does not fit. What the heck? He said it would fit their monthly candle, and it so doesn't. Like, it can't even turn. It would set it on fire. What? Let me try it a different way. Maybe it's supposed to be like this instead. I mean, it still doesn't spin. Guys, what the heck? <laughs> okay, well, we'll read the spoiler card and we'll, we'll see what's up. All right, next we have a necklace. Ooh, and it's a Beauty and the Beast inspired necklace. We all know I love Beauty and the Beast. I won't take it out because they don't have the rest of the chain um, like secured. So it's just going to fall. So let me just move it around. So it's a gold necklace and it says beauty is found within on the little medallion. And then it has a little rose on the smaller one. That is so, so cute. All right, next we have a pin. This pin is inspired by Scythe which I have read the first book. And this was designed by Latte Galaxy. I've never heard of them. <gasps> oh, this pin, you guys. It is gold with black and white enamel. Like, do you see? I am, oh my God. I love this pin. I was really expecting like a quote or I don't know, but I was not expecting this. Like, even if you don't like the book or have read the book, you're just into like darker themes, like a Grim Reaper. Like, this is amazing. <gasps> yes. Okay, so next we have, I was really hoping that they would include this. This is the theme print, like the theme artwork that they used for Murky Waters. And I am obsessed with it. I was really hoping we would get an art print because this is absolutely stunning. Dunning. I love this so much. Can't wait to put it up on my Sarah J Maas shelf. And then on the back of the art print, we have a note from one of the Bookish Box employees talking about this month's book and how much she loved it. So I think that's a really cool touch. We've never gotten that before, which is really cool. And then my favorite thing that has started happening again is a bookmark. So these bookmarks are supposed to match the candle, which I think, yeah, this month, it matches it dead on. So that's good. Cause last month was, it was made by the same creator, but two different arts. And it was strange. I liked it, but it was still confusing. So it has the exact same art on it as the candle. And I think it's so freaking pretty. So now the last thing should be the book. Let me just, we'll go ahead and show you last month's book real quick. So we do have these really cute little book pouches that I keep and reuse. So first, oh yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> so first we have the art print from January that wasn't in last month's box because it has another letter about the monthly book. So they wanted to wait until you could actually get the book to have it, which now makes a whole lot more sense. And then last month's book was Unchosen by Catherine Blair. This cover is so, so pretty. Okay, so this book has a lot in it. Okay, so first, um, this is an exclusive cover for the bookish box. The title lettering color was changed from blue to purple. It then has a reversible dust jacket. Here's what the book looks like naked. Just has some pretty blue foiling. Oh, oh, which one do I pick? Like this, I think I might do this one. That's really... I love that. Beautiful, beautiful reversible dust jacket. 
I I really can't get over this one. I love that her ribs are exposed. That's really cool. Then we have matching end papers. Oh my god. So they match the reversible dust jacket. It is also signed and we have an exclusive art print inside. Oh, and it's the one that I love. Oh, I love this. All right, there it is on. Oh, I love this. Love this a lot. And then now you can really see that the dust jacket and end papers match flawlessly. So now onto this month's book, which is so funny because I literally just got done taking a survey for Epic Reads about this book. Very funny. So it is The Initial Insult by Mindy McInnes, which I'm pretty sure, actually I'm positive, that at least the um, lettering on this has also changed color. On the original it is the same color as the rocks is what I assume that these are. But uh, I love this cover a lot. This is the first Mindy McGinnis book that I have gravitated towards. I've heard of her books. I've never really like checked them out, read the description, except for I think Female of the Species. That's one that I'm also interested in reading. But this one, when I saw it, I immediately was like, what is that book about? So I'm really excited about this. So for this one, we have the custom cover, which like I said, is the changing of the text color. We also have another reversible dust jacket. So Naked, this book is red with like a darker blue. Is it blue? Yeah, with like a navy blue. It looks very bright on my screen, but it is navy blue splash with the initial insult. Our reversible dust jacket. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, I do I do love this. It's very, very pretty. However, I'm going to keep this one because that is a gorgeous cover. I also really like the texture of it. Um, so this side is, I don't know, like, like rough. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna keep the original cover on this one. It also has, ooh, custom and papers. It's like this brick wall with Felicity and Tress BFF. Then we have it signed by the author and another art print. Oh, look at that Jaguar. Oh my God. I love, it. oh, look, there's a face in there. Ooh. All right, so let's go over the spoiler card and see if there's anything else I haven't told you. It does still say on here that the candle carousel is supposed to be able to fit this. And it so doesn't, as you guys can see. We do have another monthly playlist. You guys can try to scan that if you please. And yeah, it looks like that is everything in this box. I'm very happy that we finally got the January book and art print. Very excited about that. I'm excited about reading both of these books so very much. I'm not going to do a favorite, least favorite because they don't exist. I love everything that was in this box really, really strong, especially compared to last month when I didn't love a whole lot of things. I guess if I had to pick a least, it would be the carousel just because it doesn't function. It is not does not fit these monthly candles. But otherwise, the box is super duper strong. I love everything. And yeah. So I guess that's everything that I have for you in this unboxing. Definitely let me know what your favorite item was and if you are or will be subscribing to this box. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to please give it a thumbs up. Keep reading, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!